Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm looking at advanced black and white conversions using the white balance tools in Lightroom. Open in front of me, I have this photo from Flickr user SJ Shark Tank. It's a nice photo of some flowers. And you'll notice that between the pink and the red flowers in the photo, there's not a huge amount of difference. So if I convert this to black and white by pushing the V key and come down here and say I want to convert them to be slightly different colors, if I grab the red slider and hope to affect the reds, it actually affects everything. The orange slider now does just affect the reds, but it also affects the centers of all the flowers. The yellow slider affects mainly the white flowers in the middle there. The green slider affects the few green bits. Aqua doesn't do very much, and nor does blue, as there's very little of either color in this image. And the purple slider doesn't even really affect the pink flowers that much, it affects them a little bit. And finally, the magenta slider affects the pink flowers, but does it in quite a nasty way. It's, it needs to be used in conjunction with one of the other sliders to have a nice effect. Now what this means is that with the sliders as they are in Lightroom, I can't really independently target the pink and red flowers. One way to fix this then is to use the white balance to adjust the colors in the image. So with the pink flowers, if I add blue and possibly remove some magenta, I'll be pushing them towards purple while hopefully keeping the red flowers mainly controlled by the red sliders. So let's just try that. I'm gonna add in some blue. So let's try minus 20 and see that we're starting to see more of a difference between the two flowers. And again, I'll do the same with the green, add in minus 16 or so. Now, if I convert to black and white again with the V key and use the red slider, it's affecting the red flowers more, which is what we want. So again, I'm just gonna tweak this, pull it down, so we'll go minus 35 or so, and then try this, and there we go. Now the red slider is really only affecting the red flowers and has very little effect on the pink flowers. So I can darken up the reds, and the purple slider is affecting only really the pink flowers. So if I wanted to make a very ugly black and white image, I could increase purple all the way up, red all the way down, and as I switch off, you'll see that by and large, the black points are where the red flowers are, and the white is where the pink flowers are. This was Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus.